So, I want to film a, <clears throat> I want to film a, uh, tutorial for painting. <laughs> this is why I don't make videos a whole lot, because I forget what my words. Anyway, um, so let's just get started. We're going to do a painting. Let's paint. All right, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to paint. I just put out um, some paint and some paint brushes. So this is like ultramarine, ultramarine, <laughs> ultramarine blue. And then I kind of got some of that accidentally mixed in with uh, some teal color. And then we got some magenta, yellow, and then some white. So this is what I'm going to work with. And um, for the paint brushes, I just got a flat brush, um, a filbert, a fan, um, another smaller flat brush, and another small flat brush. So let's see. I don't know exactly. I was thinking some kind of um, landscape scene with maybe some flowers. I don't know. Let's just go for it and see let's see what happens so I'm gonna take this brush first and I got some water here it's off this over here you can't see it so I'm just gonna dip the brush in some water and wipe it off a bit <clears throat> so I'm thinking I'm always thinking beach should I go for the beach mm. Yeah, let's go for the beach. I can't help myself. So some ultramarine blue. Start by putting in our line for the sky. I'm just gonna fill this in with blue. Grab some white, lighten that up a little bit. Try to do this video without a whole lot of editing because I gotta tell you, editing videos is one of the hardest things. So, people who edit videos, I tip my hat to you because that's one definitely. One of the hardest things for me when I learned when I started doing YouTube, and that's why I haven't put out any because I was like, Oh my gosh, editing videos is like like time consuming. Okay, so I think my sky looks all right, I'm trying to get it as straight. Back and forth as straight as possible. I don't really want to curve, not for me. You might want to curve. I don't want to curve. I want it as straight as I can get it. Okay, so now I'm I'm not gonna wet or excuse me, I'm not going to um rinse my brush. I'm gonna grab some of this teal color. And this is the color I'm going to, that's going to be my ocean. So I'm just going to put that in here. Again, as straight as we can get this line here. And I'm not using um, professional paints. These paints are Blick, the, the brand, the Blick Art Paints our student grade you can use student grade or professional grade whichever you have I don't have it taped down so I 
And also I just have a piece of like printer paper under here so I don't get everything all messy. Okay, so we'll wait for that to dry. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to rinse out my brush. And think about what else I want to put in this painting. <laughs> <laughs> since I have no idea what exactly I'm painting. I decided I'm going to add some clouds up here in the sky. And for that, I'm using, it's, it's a bristle brush. It's just a flat bristle brush. Oh, right here. It's just like a flat bristle brush, I guess. We're going to use that. So I'm not even going to wet it. I'm just going to take it straight to my white paint. And I'm just going to scrub in some clouds. We're going to scrub these clouds in here. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I'm going to get rid of my fingerprints that I have here on the side. And I want to add some color to these clouds, so I'm going to grab some, like, just a dab of pink. It's probably too much, but that's all right. And I'm going to put the pink in here, lightly put the pink in here. Some more. Just to add some color. Whatever, it doesn't matter. This is to add a little bit of interest. the painting. Cool. I think that looks awesome. Oh, and this one I just grabbed a whole bunch of pink. Grab a little bit more light on that one. Okay. So, no, I'm gonna add another one up here. I'm just adding clouds. Grab a little more white. Scrub it in. You know what, I'm gonna get some yellow too, just a dab. Scrub of yellow. Imagination. Now that we've got everything else, I think we're going to add some flowers. Let's add some flowers to this. Okay, so I got a filbert brush here. A small filbert, it's a number 10. Number 10 filbert, and I am going to add some flowers to this. Mm. No, first, we're gonna add some kind of like waves to the water. That's what we're gonna do. That actually looks like water, not just white. So it looks like 
waves coming through. Cool. I like the way that looks. Okay, now if you mess up and you think you added too much of a wave, like I think I messed up right here with this one, I'm just going to come back in with some blue and paint over that. And I'm just going to take it away. Okay, so I was able to get it out. I'm going to go back with some white again and add it back, but a little, just, just a little bit smaller. Okay, I like the way that looks. Let's go back, rinse my brush. And I'm going to have to wait until this dries again. So... We'll be back. <clears throat> I was finally able to get this thing to dry. I I was like, why is it taking so long? Usually, acrylics usually dry really fast. I don't know if there's just a lot of moisture in the air lately. Um, <clears throat> but I had to take a break and let this dry. So now it's pretty dry. And I figure it's already a, a pretty um, background scene. And I was thinking, how about we put some flowers in this area right here, like close-up flowers. So that's where I'm going to go get my magenta color. And I might add a little bit of white just to make it a little more opaque. Okay. And I'm thinking, <clears throat> oh, and I'm using the Filbert, the number 10 Filbert brush. So with the flat part, I'm going to come in and let's see, where do I want this flower? Figure, mm, let's just put it right here. Big strokes, big strokes. And I don't know what type of flower this is. This is just uh, from my mind <laughs> made up flower. Okay, I'm just putting the strokes in. There we go. That's just a rough kind of, I guess, um, sketch of the flower. We can come back in later. And with the next, so I'm going to rinse, rinse the excess off, dry my brush, this is all off camera, and I'm going to get some more white with it, some more white, here's some more white, make it a little more opaque, because see, you could still see through um, the flower, the pink here, so we're going to come back again and stroke it one more time. And there, that's good enough for me. I think that's great. One more stroke here. Okay, um, for the next flower, I'm not gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna grab some yellow, make it like an orange color. Okay, with the pink and yellow, mix orange. Bring some yellow into it. I mean, not yellow, white. Again, for the opac opacity or opacity. 
and we're going to add another flower and we're going to do that one right here. And I'm not waiting for it to dry. Just, I'm just going for it. And that that's good. I, I like that. I'm going to leave that one there. And I guess for the last flower, mm, I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to dry it off on the side. And I was kind of thinking like a purple flower. So we can grab some pink, the magenta. Bring it over to the blue. Kind of mix that in. And grab some white. Make a purple color. Nice pretty purple. Ooh, that's pretty. And we'll make one more flower over here. Get a smaller one. And this one will be our purple flower. A little bigger okay cute I like them they look awesome okay so I'm gonna rinse my brush rinse my brush out and dry it off on the side um, I want to add some green leaves I should have did that first but hey I got excited with the flowers. So I'm gonna grab some yellow, bring it over to my blue. I'm gonna make a green. And I'm gonna get grab some white. It's a little bit more opaque. Blue. That's a lot of white. I don't want that much white. More yellow. Okay, so we got my green going on here. And so for the leaves, wipe my finger off. Okay, so for the leaves, I want, I'm just gonna like smash my brush in, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm smashing the brush in. These are my leaves. I don't care what anybody says. Those are leaves to me. I need to make this more opaque, so I'm gonna grab more white and more yellow. Do this one again. Okay. Those are my leaves. Anybody tells you otherwise, just, hey, they're leaves, man. They're green, right? <laughs> oh, I think this looks pretty. Look how colorful. I love it. Okay. I need to make this more opaque. This looks really pretty. Okay, so once I'm done with my leaves, rinse my brush. Always rinse your brush. Never leave paint on your brush. Okay, rinse it. I'm wiping it off. I want to <clears throat> add the centers of my flowers. I don't want to just leave them like that. So with that, I'm going to grab some yellow and some white because I want it more opaque, of course. Makes it brighter also. And I'm gonna just dab my center in here. And you can make it as big, do that for all of them.
rinse my brush off again. And I like it. I think it's cute. I think we're done. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great night. Bye.